bit naughty. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Brittany, and I just wanted to share the giveaway that I had received by, I believe they, it's called Moda or Moda, M-O-D-A brushes. Uh, you can find them pretty much like anywhere nowadays, but uh, I had won the giveaway off of Instagram, so I just wanted to show them because I was really, really excited. So it comes in this cute little packaging that's pink, and it's cool because the brushes are pink too. So, okay. I just painted my nails, which look horribly crummy, but I had put uh, the glitter top on them and uh, just Dollar Tree green glitter. And then, and again, this is the Dollar Tree one, uh, but I had just used, which I don't see a shade on here. That's weird. But anyways, both of these can be found at the Dollar Tree and you can have crappy nails like me. Anyways, I'm, I suck at painting nails, so I figured I'd paint them and then I will peel off the excess when I take a bath. So anyways, okay, I'm going to get scissors to cut the top open because I cannot get this open and like <laughs> trying to figure out how to cut, get it open without messing up the nails so I don't have to redo the nails all over again. Okay, I shall get this open without stabbing my face. Jesus, that's been a horrible unboxing, like trying to get it open and then just stab your face. Oh, that's really, really cool. Okay, cool. Awesome. I don't know why I thought it was going to be sent individually. Like, I was, like, thinking, like, they would be in a case and they would just be sent to me. But they're actually in the package. So, it is a 13-piece brush set. And, okay, so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm like trying to show the name. Mata, Moda, uh, I'm not really, I think it's Moda because M-O. Anyways, they're 100% vegan and cruelty free. Um, and it says pro pink complete wrap, uh, but they have like this texture on them. So I thought that was like kind of cool because I think it's like a diamond cut textured look or whatever. But um, yeah, and so all of the back of the thing where it shows what they do and what brushes are in here but I thought this was really really cool because I don't typically win giveaways and throwing everything down but oh okay little things that excite me but like this is plastic and like I can use like to mix foundations or like my paint with the mayor on paints I can use because it's actually like um a flat plastic that you can literally wash off so that's kind of cool okay that's again little things that i get excited about but i can reuse that instead of just tossing it to the ozone so okay so you get two little if i can get everything to stop falling momentarily okay i'm gonna put this on the ground so that way everything else stops falling okay so it is packaged uh two ways so you can see the brushes and everything um, I'm gonna pick up the thing because I pretty much kind of know what everything is, but I'm gonna tell it professionally, so hold on. I'm like, get rid of the package. No, bring the package back. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to set it up and try to discuss this with you. Fan brush, uh, you can use that for highlighting. Um, okay, so I don't think they have, yes, oh, dude, oh, dude, dude, yes, okay. Hold on, let me pop one of these out. Cool, I'm so, ooh, and like, it's like silicone filling, like it's so soft and like easy to like hold on to and like they're the perfect size and everything. That is so cool, I am so excited about that. Oh well, okay, anyways, on the back of these, they actually say like what they f are for and like have the number numbers on them. Okay, anyways, this is your highlighter brush and this, is your crease brush oh my god i'm so in love that it actually says it on back because i'm not a person who like typically uses the right brushes for things whatever but um just if you are it literally says every little thing on the back of that so that is that's is perfect for especially someone who's like getting started okay i recommend these brushes just for the fact that like not only are they soft and everything but they like say the stuff on the back so you can learn as you're going that is pretty cool. Anyways, crease brush. That's cool. 
Okay, so then you have your concealer brush and or your cut crease, which that's pretty cool. Like, I don't really use concealer brushes because I have, like, these little mini sponges, if I can find it. I have... Try not to knock down stuff, but anyways, I have these little mini sponges and today I'm Pop Shelf. It's, like, some store that we have that's kind of like a Dollar Tree mixed with, like, a family dollar slash dollar general whatever anyways in pop shelf they have even cuter littler tinier sponges that i'm gonna get i think they were like two dollars whatever for three anyways i'm gonna go back there to get them so i don't te technically <sighs> talking too fast use brushes for concealer so i probably will use that for a cut crease being that it's like pretty much the shape of a cut crease brush and brush and you can just go in with it <laughs> Okay, so then this is a shading brush. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure. Like I'm, I'm like when I don't use the right brushes for stuff, I'm just like this is a shading brush. But I guess I mean I guess that would be cool because like the uh when I do the V, and then or whoever does the V also, you can like go in with that and then shade out your area. Okay, so I'm learning. So maybe these brushes will actually help me up my game. I don't know. Like, teach me as I'm going. Okay, this is a detail brush. I might just have to hold this. Up. Yeah. I was about to say, because my camera does not want to focus on what it needs to focus on. So, no. Okay. Anyways, it's a detailing brush. I might just do that. Go back to the old method of showing that stuff up close okay and then this is a pointed liner brush okay i would probably not use this as a liner brush unless i figure out that it's really good um because it kind of is thicker than what i typically use for a liner brush um like things like this where it's like a lot more thinner or things like if i'm going to use a liner brush by the way so like let me focus it back okay things like this is where i would use for liner brush not that so maybe for like a shadow liner maybe i could see myself using that um so that way i could like fade out the shadow or this probably will get used right here because i have lines already and so like i don't like trying to like put so much shadow right there so i kind of like like to like get it more tighter to the actual face and everything or like the eye so i might use that for that okay this is supposed to be a it just says it literally just says line but I think they meant like liner or brows or something like that. Um, so which would still still kind of be cool because you could do that. Or like if you're trying to cut the crease out and you need to like get up above it, whatever. Still, you could use it for your brows too. So that's kind of cool. But okay, I'm getting the bigger one. Okay, so this is a glow. It just says glow brush. That is so cute. Like it's so little and uh I, I could probably use that for a highlighter too like on your nose or just like right up in your apples of the cheek like i could see that maybe your brows if you wanted to go that heavy with um, a highlighter right there but it just says glow so i don't know okay ah, trying to pop these out okay so the buffer brush i typically again use uh getting rid of this now since it has one thing. Anyways, I typically use sponges for the face, but I also wanted to get into using brushes again. I almost about died. Okay. Uh, so that is kind of cool. And it's like perfect shape to like buff your like contour. I'm like pretending like I'm actually putting it on. I'm like, let me hold my hair back so it doesn't get in my hair. Anyways. Woo. Anyways, you can buff out your contour and stuff and everything. So that is pretty cool. Learning stuff every day. But a uh, flat powder brush. I do see the only... Let's see if you can see it. I see a couple brushes that are like a couple hairs. That I'm probably going to have to cut off. I don't even know if you can see that. But uh, they are a couple of them that are just kind of like... Just sticking out. Maybe if I focus... Yeah, there you go. It's like right there. And a couple of them that are kind of like just sticking out. So I might have to go in and like cut them out just... Just to uh, make everything even. But anyways, powder brush. Uh, they're actually like really soft too. Um, I do have some other brushes that I just got from You Can Be that I've been using too. So I'm like, no, I have a couple of these things. But um, okay. So, and this is a pointed blush. 
I don't technically uh, typically use that big of a blush brush so that might just be like maybe um, a uh, what is it contour but bronzer Jesus okay I use more tighter for the blush because I don't want to like um, put blush everywhere I don't have that big of a face like I might have big forehead but not that big of cheeks so I'm like more tighter with the blush um, and I like try to be like just like right up in this area so I could see bronzer because I like to like kind of like make things more like contoured. Oh my geez, I am horrible at saying words and details. But anyways, okay, so then this is a sculpture brush. So I'm pretty sure almost every single kit comes with a sculpting brush at this point because like this is supposed to be, you could be sculpting brush, but Anyways, I think that's kind of cool because then you could even go down the bridge of your nose and then just get like in the like detail part and or like maybe like your um, jawline and everything and then your cheeks. I still feel like I like more for the bronzer so I'm like more thicker for the bronzer but still kind of cool. Anyways, I like these brushes. They're really cool and that's why I entered the giveaway because I was like, oh, and I did not even expect to win but um, so then you get this little bag that you can put all the brushes into, and then I'm going to put them in here, and I'm going to show you with that, with all the brushes in. Okay, so, with the flap down, well, kind of down, I thought brush wants to stick up. Anyways, with the flap down, then the brushes are there, and then you can seam up with the flap up, and then, uh, you are supposed to be able to roll this without them. I'm going to try to do it on the thing. Okay. Okay. Cause it has the little clips that you can, wow. I don't know why I just got blown out. Okay. So then, uh, you can just roll it up and then I'm trying to do this in the mid air, but this is not working. Okay. Anyways, you can just roll this up and then clip it in and then take it with you on the go. Literally trying to clip it in right now. But anyways, and then just take it with you on the go, and then your brushes stay in there without falling and everything. So, we're going to uh, San Antonio, Texas after Christmas, and so that would be great and perfect. So that way I don't have to roll up every single one of my brushes that I own and have brushes flying out everywhere. So, that was kind of cool that it came like in perfect timing. So, just a couple more weeks until Christmas, and then party! Anyways. But uh, thank you all for watching. I know that was not that exciting of a video or that long of a video, but uh, you will see me in the future using these brushes. So I will then let you know a little bit more on details of how well they perform and if I like them every, uh, and everything. But I think the color is awesome. So far they feel really soft and feel like they're gonna work really well and everything, but they are adorable. And I don't think I've ever used anything from Mata or Moda, uh, so it's exciting for me. But okay, I hope y'all have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.